Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my career. So when you come to Korea, how do you know what skincare and beauty products to buy? You know that Korea is like the beauty and skincare mecca of the world. They have the most cutting edge and state of the art beauty products, but it's really confusing and overwhelming because there's just so many brands and so many things to buy. If you walk down that main street in Myeongdong, you will get accosted by a lot of people outside of beauty stores handing you a sheet mask and trying to lure you into their store that way to buy Korean beauty products. And it can be really confusing and overwhelming, or at least it was for me. So with this video, I'm gonna try to break down 10 different Korean skincare brands and tell you what the most popular products are and also make some recommendations on what you should buy. So there are several different categories of brands. There are the, I'll just say lower end, but there are brands that are marketed towards teenagers and people in their early 20s and these are brands like Tony Moly, Etude House, Holika Holika. They use really colorful bright packaging. They have K-pop models and collaborations with brands like Wine Friends, Cacao Friends, Sanrio, Pekochan, and they're just really flashy and really pretty and very attractive. And I think that they're definitely worth buying for the cute factor. Then there are the mid-range brands like Laneige, Misha, Aritam, which carries Ayo, uh, Laneige, Mamond, and other like mid-range brands like that. A lot of them are owned by a conglomerate called Amore Pacific and they're marketed towards people in their 30s. And then there are the really high-end brands like Hera and Ohui and Sowasu and a lot of those brands are also owned by the Amore Pacific conglomerate and you can find those brands at department stores like Lotte. And then there are a lot of independent brands and that's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video because you might not be aware of them, they're not just out there in your face, but a lot of these brands focus on natural ingredients and they focus on the ingredients rather than the packaging and the marketing and they just focus on producing really effective, high quality products this is a collaboration video with YesStyle, so I just want to say thank you to YesStyle for providing me uh, almost all the products that I'm mentioning in this video for free. And if you guys want to check them out, I have a coupon code in the description so you can get 10% off of your first purchase from YesStyle. And I'll also be leaking the products that I mentioned in this video. These brands that I'm going to talk about may not have a store in Myeongdong. A lot of them you will find in Korean drugstores like Olive Young or La 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 or you can find a lot of products at A-Land, which is my like mecca for Korean skincare products. So let's get started. Neogen is a pretty well-known brand. They seem to always be on top of the latest beauty trends. And I do try to keep some of their exfoliating bio peel gauze toner pads on hand because I think that they're good for exfoliating. I think that's their most famous product, but they also have a lot of other popular products like the Real Ferment Micro Essence and the Green Tea Cleanser. I ordered the Green Tea Cleanser from YesStyle and it's supposed to be for oily combination or acne prone skin. I have dry skin, but I still wanted to try anyway. This has a pH of 8, which is one notch higher than neutral, and the active ingredient here is fermented green tea extract, so if you're sensitive to ferments, you might want to avoid this one. My skin loves fermented ingredients though, and green tea has antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and anti-aging properties. So after using the Cosrx Low pH Cleanser, I haven't really found another cleanser that I liked, but this one is really nice. It's really gentle and it leaves my skin feeling clean but not squeaky and dry, yet it still feels like it's effective. It's not really suited towards my skin because my skin is dry, but I tried it anyway and it performed really well and I really like this cleanser. I'm From uses natural ingredients like ginseng, honey, rice, sea buckthorn leaf, and it lists the origin of its primary ingredient right down to the name of the farm where it was harvested. I'm From manufactures all of its products in Korea and I believe that the honey mask and the ginseng serum are really popular. But I'm not actually a fan of wash off masks and I really don't like the smell of ginseng. Yet I still wanted to try some products from this brand. So I decided to order the rice toner and the vitamin tree water gel from YesStyle. I used them together and I really liked both of them. The rice toner contains 77% rice extract, which is the active ingredient, and has this really milky look to it, and I'm guessing that there are little bits of rice in there. You have to shake it up before using it, and the rice is supposed to remove dead skin cells to create smooth and moisturized skin. 
The toner itself is unscented and it's very watery and if my skin is in good condition, it takes this toner really well. But if it's dry, then it can sting a little bit. But if it's in good condition, it's a really nice hydrating toner. The Vitamin Tree Water Gel is ideal for oily skin, but it's suitable to all skin types. And the active ingredient here is sea buckthorn leaf, which is an antioxidant that contains malic and acetic acid, which are AHAs and chemical exfoliants. A little bit of it goes a long way. If you use too much of it, it won't really absorb into your skin very nicely. It's really light, yet still hydrating, so I think it's a perfect summer moisturizer. iUNIQ is a relatively new indie Korean skincare brand and I believe it's only a couple years old. It stands for Ideal Unique Natural Ingredients Know-How and it calls itself a minimalist skincare brand because it has simple packaging and minimal ingredients and they try to simplify skincare steps. I looked at their ingredient list and it looks kind of long but I decided to try this anyway. I've seen this brand at Aland, but I decided to order the Black Snail Restore Serum because I love all things that have snail in them. And I think the propolis one is the most popular one, but since I like snail, I just decided to go with this one. So the first thing I noticed was the size and the price of this. This is a huge bottle for serum, and it costs about 16,000 won, which is less than most serums cost. This particular product focuses on nutrition, anti-aging, brightening, and wrinkle care, and it also claims to provide elasticity to the skin while smoothing and nourishing it. It contains 70% snail secretion filtrate, which is less than the Cosrx snail mucin essence. So the texture of the serum is quite watery and thin, and while it's very hydrating, I would kind of consider it more as an essence than a serum. When I think of a serum, I think of something that's super concentrated, and it gives you a power dose of nutrients and goodness, and I just don't feel like this serum feels like a serum. It does have a nice hydrating effect though, but I think I prefer the Cosrx snail mucin essence to this serum because it has more of a plumping effect on the skin. There's nothing wrong with this product though, and I do plan to try the Propolis Serum next. It was just not as thick as I would have expected, but the price is also quite low, so you get what you pay for. Cosrx, this is my favorite K-Beauty brand, and I like this brand because I feel like their products are super gentle yet effective, and I actually haven't tried a Cosrx product that has irritated my skin. My favorite products from this brand are the Aloe Soothing Sunscreen and the Honey Ceramide Ice Cream and of course the Snail Mucin Essence. I also like the Balancium Cream um, for winter time. I also find the Costarix Toner Pads to be quite nice. So I decided to try the Snail Mucin Sunscreen and I actually found that this was my least favorite Costarix product. I didn't really like the texture and I think it felt kind of sticky like sunscreen. The type of sunscreen that you would use when you're going to the beach on your body but i much prefer the texture of the aloe soothing sunscreen which feels like a light lotion so i think i will stick to using my snail products and my sunscreen products separately the plant base makes products that are free of parabens mineral oils pigment and synthetic fragrances they produce hyperallergenic products that are formulated with natural plant extracts and certified organic ingredients, and they are against animal testing. I believe that their Time Stop Collagen Ampule is the most popular product, and I really wanted to try this. The main ingredient is a whopping 76.53% Herisium Erinaceum Mushroom Extract. It's supposed to strengthen skin and promote collagen production, and the packaging is really cool and unexpected. It looks like a regular bottle, but there's actually this medicine drop attached to the top and it just feels so high-tech and unique so I've been using this for a couple weeks and I really like it it has sort of a plumping effect on my skin and it doesn't seem to leave any residue and it just feels really nice so this is supposed to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and I've been using it for a couple weeks and I have not noticed this happening to any of my wrinkles or fine lines However, maybe you have to use it for a longer period of time. It does have a plumping effect and it's very moisturizing, so I will give it credit for that. Hamish is a really chic brand. It launched in 2016 and they focus primarily on makeup and neutral shades that are suitable for everyday wear. All Hamish products are cruelty free and they're made without parabens and they're manufactured in Korea. I already used their cleansing balm but I've been wanting to try these Rose Hydrogel eye patches and I really like them. Let's start off with how lovely they look. 
The packaging is really nice and there's a tight seal so they don't get dehydrated and it comes with a little spatula which is really handy to scoop out the patches because they're quite sticky. The eye patches are light pink and shimmery and they're just so pretty. When you put them on they have a nice cooling sensation and they just feel really nice. They adhere really well to the skin and they definitely have a moisturizing effect. My under eye area felt very plump and well hydrated after using them. And I can't say that they helped with dark circles or wrinkles, but maybe you have to use them for a longer time period in order to see effects. Wish Trend is the parent company to a lot of K-beauty brands, including Dear Claire's. They also make some of their own products under the Wish Trend brand, and their most popular products are the Vitamin C Serum and the Mandelic Acid Toner. When I first opened the Mandelic Acid Toner and smelled it, I felt a little apprehensive because it actually smells like acid, and it's scary but it's supposed to exfoliate and remove dead skin cells and also brighten and improve your skin texture. So it's a gentle AHA that's just really good for removing dead skin cells. I tend to get a lot of dead skin hanging off the side of my nose, right where it hits my face, and this is good for getting rid of that after a couple of uses. I use it as a step right after cleansing and not every day, maybe I use it about three times a week or so. Hopper Recipe is famous for their honey masks and these masks are really nice. They are super hydrating and they stick to your face really well. After using them, my skin feels and looks plumper and it's very well hydrated. Isn't Tree is a combination of the words island, natural, and tree together to inspire its brand name and guiding philosophy. The brand's products are all made in Korea and they're free from animal testing. I tried their Hyaluronic Acid Toner which is one of their most popular products and it definitely delivered. The texture of the toner is very thick and it's almost as thick as some of the snail mucin essences that I've used. It's also very hydrating and it just leaves your skin feeling nice and bouncy. It has 50% Hyaluronic Acid and I think it's one of my favorite toners. 3CE this is a makeup brand by Style Nanda, which is a super popular brand in Asia among millennials. Last year, it was acquired by L'Oreal. 3CE, or 3 Concept Eyes, is a makeup brand. They have great packaging, but their prices tend to be higher than a lot of other Korean beauty products. I think that their Velvet Lip Scents are the most popular products, but I decided to try one of their blushes, and I thought it was really pretty. The blush itself was just okay, and it can be very pigmented depending on how you use it, especially if you get just the pink color, but it looks a lot more natural if you mix the colors, and I think it's just really pretty. But honestly, I prefer American blushes to this blush. For more skincare videos, check out this playlist right here. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, what your favorite products are, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!